study introduction to data structures its importance and need in any programming language now what is a data structure data can be organized in many ways and data structures is one of these ways data is the amount of inputs that we handle while we are programming it can be a real world input or any input for which we have to design a problem for that problem we have to design a solution so we get a best time and space complexity as the best case solution it is used to represent data in memory of computer so that processing of data can be done in a easier way data structure is the logical and mathematical model of a particular organization of data so these are the three technical definitions of data and what is the importance of data structure now classification of data structure data can be classified in two ways so there's a linear data structure and there's a nonlinear data structure the linear data structure in these data structures the elements form a sequence that is the word what linear stands for and examples of linear data structures are arrays linked lists stacks and queues and nonlinear data structures in these data structures the elements do not form a sequence they are random they use random memory allocation such as trees and graphs are nonlinear data structure examples let's see how the data structure is classified the first and foremost they are classified into primitive data types and data structure or a non primitive data structure now primitive data structures are basically the data types of any programming language so these are integer float double character and pointers to know more about this you can refer to programming in c structured programming approach video where character set and operations of data is taken care and how many bytes and how these are allocated we've already done in that so you can refer to that now let's see what are the non primitive data structures so non primitive data structures are divided into a linear data structure and a non linear data structure now the linear data structure as we seen these are when they are arranged in a sequence in a systematic manner they are arrays stacks queues string operations and linked lists and the non linear data structures are trees and graphs so we will see this on the following videos that will be following now what are the various operations that can be performed on any data structure the first and foremost it is traversing inserting and deleting so these operations play a major role in this text these operations that is deleting and removing so that is counted as four operations so traversing it is accessing each record exactly once so that certain items in the record may be processed now traversing is usually done when we are reading the data into an array and we say we want to print all the elements of an array so when we scan from one element to 10 elements if there are 10 elements in the array that is when we move from first to the last element it is known as traversing if people are standing in the queue if there are 10 people in the queue and we move on from the first person to the 10th person in a sequential order it is known as traversing insertion simple adding a new record to the structure if there are 10 people in the queue and one more person comes a new one in the queue that is known as insertion deleting so removing any one thing from the data structure is known as removal removing a record from the structure sometimes two or more operations may be used in a given situation so for example we may want to delete a record with a given key which may mean we first need to search for a lo location of that particular record so traverse insertion and deletion searching gets added as an operation now let's see what are the other operations that can be done searching sorting and merging searching finding the location of a record with a given key value or finding the locations of all record which satisfy one or more condition or searching can also be i need to search a particular record in a set of a class so that is also known as searching in a pile of book i need to search a particular 
book so that is a searching example sorting arranging the records in some logical order for example alphabetically according to some name key or in a numerical order according to the number key such as account number or we usually have a class of students sorted in roll number 1 to 60 or 1 to 70 whatever may be the strength of the class merging combining the records in two different sorted files into a single file now for the searching we'll be following the videos for a linear search and a binary search these are the two searching methods that we'll be study sorting sorting will be following sequential sort insertion sort merge sort quick sort radix sort bucket sort merge radix sort and hashing merging you will see how recursion helps for the divide and conquer where merging comes into picture for divide and conquer you can view the video in data structures using divide and conquer where the merging is explained very nicely with an example merging is also implementing in the merge sort where you can see how it is divided in using the divide and conquer strategy of algorithms so combining the records into different sorted files into one file a sorted file is an example of merging and merge sort is a very good example of that thank you